This is your 7-day warning, in approximately 168 hours. The Jaggy Survival Server will conduct its Halloween purge, hosted by One Death Theater. During this purge, all crime including griefing will be allowed. Most rules has been changed or revised. Please hold for an updated message from One Death Theater. Well, it is officially seven days. I can't believe it. I mean, I woke up today and instant thought, seven days until purge. Not only purge, but some other things as well. Of course, Halloween, which is why I'm wearing the hat, which is my Halloween hat. So, in this special video, I guess I will, it was originally going to be a question and answer thing, but since no one asked any questions about the purge, I will just go over the rules, which will make the video long enough than it should be. So, I'll just uh, go ahead and run through everything on the Jackie form page that I've written up. There's been several changes to the rules, which me and Jaggy has both agreed on. So in this video will be everything that will happen in the purge, and hopefully everyone can abide to these rules. And um, if you follow these rules precisely, then uh, you won't have any problems. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm going to link to the forum page in the description. And if you have any extra questions, I'll be happy to answer them down in the comments. <clears throat> so, let's just go ahead and proudly announce the first annual Jaggy Purge and have it on Halloween night. Why not? Now, this is, this is uh, my very first event that I'm hosting that involves the purge but um, this is the official 12 hour purge that we're going to have on the servers this isn't going to last for a simple hour and then you have like two hours to prepare and then one hour purge no that, that's not how it works no a per the purge movie the purge during the purge movies lasted 12 hours so why not have our purge event last 12 hours so let's just go ahead and say that it will last for approximately 12 hours it will begin at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time noon Eastern Standard Time my time and it will end at midnight 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time the next day now, the best thing about Halloween being on a Friday and this event <clears throat> ending at midnight is because kids don't have school tomorrow. So, why not? And for people who live in um, the UK or around the British time zones, it will be approximately 8 p.m. British Standard Time on October 31st and it will end at 8 a.m. British Standard Time so yeah uh, this event was of course inspired by the movies The Purge and its sequel The Purge Anarchy and I will go ahead and go over the rules all crime including stealing killing being is allowed excuse me now usually griefing was never allowed unless it was unclaimed but um, since uh, griefing is now officially allowed if um, when J Jaggy turns off the claim for the servers at around 11 or 1130 depending on when I ask him but um, 
That all depends. But anyways, stealing and killing has always been allowed. It's just that PvP thing. It's a PvP server, but in this certain case, killing is allowed. Do not grief a building that has a sign saying do not purge. If it is griefed, it will be checked via the Koai command and we will find out where the sign originally was placed. Now, speaking of the do not purge areas, um, not only is griefing not allowed, but killing is not allowed and um, there's something else. Griefing, killing, and stealing, right, stealing. So yeah, the do not grief zones are basically safe zones, but here's something else. If you're caught griefing in a no grief zone by either heroes or admins, or if you're a hero yourself and you, you're caught griefing by someone, then you will get most likely banned for the day, or depending on how serious it was, then um, you will most likely either get banned for the day or in jail. So, yeah, don't grief. And if you're caught killing people inside your grief zone, like if you're inside a grief zone and you're killing people outside the grief zone, then technically you're part of the purge and you can get killed. So, if you're killing, then you can get killed either if you're in the purge or not or if you're in your purge zone do not purge zone or not all weapons that are not enchanted are allowed meaning no enchanted weapons no enchanted bows no enchanted swords enchanted armor is allowed for those who are using enchanted items will receive proper punishment and we will know <clears throat> Admins are allowed to purge, but please keep the peace, as in server rules do still apply. So, the majority of the server rules apply, meaning if you you, you can't do you can't spam you can't uh, you can't cuss out everybody. Those rules still apply. Mo the majority of the server rules. The only rules that's been added is the uh, purge rules do not spam kill one person that means group group um, killing if one person is constantly killed by several people at the same time then I will have an admin put a stop to it because number one this is this is my event I created this event with the permission of Jaggy and um, this is my event I, I, I'll choose when to end when the when to begin and everything else this includes ending it early if um, rules aren't followed so spamming kill uh, spam killing one person is not allowed Meaning, don't kill the same person twice. You kill one person, okay, sure. What do you want to do? You want to keep it. You want to keep his stuff and burn his house down. If if it's in a no, do not purge zone, then sure, by all means. But spam killing one person not allowed. So don't kill the same person twice. Groups are allowed, as as I've said before earlier. Do not kill if unarmed. Now, this does not apply if you hit someone in any way, shape, or form, either with a weapon or with their fists. Then, technically, you are a part of the purge, and therefore, you are dead. So, yeah, if someone is hitting you, then you are allowed to hit them back and kill them, either with or without a weapon. If they grab a, if they have a sword out and they hit you, then they scroll into an empty hand. You are allowed to kill them. If they smack you with their fists, you are allowed to kill them. 
But if they're going on their ways, and they have nothing in their hands except a wooden sword, do not kill people with wooden swords. I'll make that clear. I will make that clear, actually. Do not kill people with wooden swords. If they're walking around with nothing in their hands and wooden swords, then do not kill them. They're not part of the purge. They're just trying to make their way around the mines, or if they're mining, then whatever. But really, be reasonable. If you kill people unarmed, then there will be consequences. <clears throat> the purge will begin at alarm and it will set end at the same alarm. And both warnings or both alarms will have very many warnings. Through the um, Jaggy chat, the IRC or the IRC thing and um, through Twitch, which I will be streaming all day with the purge, and I will broadcast the purge alarm with the purge warning that the purge is about to begin. I will wait for no one. This event has been officially scheduled and marked, so plan accordingly. Meaning, it starts when I when I start it, and it ends when I end it. Now, when the purge ends, server rules go back into effect and claims will be turned back on. That means I'm not sure if you have to reclaim everything, but um, if that's the case, then we'll, uh, we'll do that. So, per, uh, when the purge ends, server rules are back in effect. PvP is still allowed, so you can still kill people. You can still steal from people. The only thing that you can't do after the purge is over is grief. And I want to go back to griefing for a little bit. When I mean grief, I mean building-wise. So, do not burn down a forest. If you're caught burning down a forest, I'll find out who did it. And you will most likely get banned from the server. Not for the purge, but probably forever. Because burning down forests, that's burning down... That, um, that's the word I'm looking for. That's burning down things that you need. You need wood to build houses and basically everything else. I mean, no, you don't need to have wood. You can always dig a hole, but other people need wood. Actually, you need wood for sticks to make torches. And if you don't use torches, you can always use wood for anything else. So, don't burn down forests. Continuing on, do not kill anyone wearing leather armor, full or not. Now, going back to do not kill if unarmed. If they are hitting you then then you may kill them but if they're wearing leather armor do not attack them unless they attack first nicknames may be changed to uh, anything related to the purge like if you're part of the purge then please if you have a if you're allowed the nickname then please set your nickname to purge this is so we know that you're part of the purge. If you're not part of the purge, then you don't have to change your nickname. And um, that, that helps us out to see who's part of the purge or not. <clears throat> if you wish to not be involved of this purge, you, but still collect things from survival, you may do the following. Do not have any weapons on you, except a wooden sword. People involved in Perch will kill anyone who holds any type of sword except wooden or a bow. So do not have a bow on you unless you need it. If you need any other type of weapon, then the next thing, you should enchant your weapons. 
Enchanted weapons are not allowed for the purge people to use. This will clue in for people involved in the purge. So yeah, enchanted weapons are not allowed in the purge, and if you need to defend yourself, use your enchanted sword. And if they say that, if they say that you kill them, if um, you purged with an enchanted weapon and you have an alibi, as in you are defending yourself because you're not part of the purge, then um, there's your alibi. But don't don't think that that alibi can save you because I will know if you're lying or not. Place a sign in your claimed areas saying do not purge. If it's broken by a purger, it will be checked by admins and proper punishment will be in place. Or if you do place signs in your areas and you still don't want to be part of this event, then go on creative. I'm sure you can do other things and this event only takes place on survival. So you can do other things. Now, before I end this video, this is very important. Be prepared to show proof. If your building was griefed and you had a sign saying do not purge, please take a before a before picture before the building was griefed with a sign then a after picture with or without a sign now if your building was griefed and then you recently set a sign saying do not purge koai will be used to check the times and we will determine if you are lying or not about the grief if you grief your own building and blame it on someone else we will use the koai to to check and see who griefed it and if you're the one that we see who griefed your own building you may most likely be sent to jail for the rest of the night or banned for the server for the day for the rest of the day we will unban you tomorrow well November 1st in this case <clears throat> now that's basically it if you guys have any questions whatsoever please comment them down below in the comments and this purge event will be in seven days. So be prepared. I'm not waiting for anybody. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.